Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 22, the show Red Sox franchise mode. And today, unfortunately, we have Matt Olson being sent to the IL for 10 days, unfortunately, with a finger contusion, which means he'll be out for approximately a week or two, which means that Tristan Cassis is going to be called up once again for the second time in this season. Of course, uh, he has been called up to uh, to MLB or to the uh, Red Sox today. Not today. Uh, I think last month or earlier on this month. Again, uh, probably one of the best prospects that the Red Sox has so far uh, for, for this season. And of course, uh, unfortunately, still hasn't quite announced himself to the big scene yet, despite having four home runs, which is very impressive, to be honest. It feels like... Um, uh, it feels like he uh, doesn't. He's not quite of a contact hitter, but of course he has all the power he needs. And of course, I think yesterday he hit a solo home run against Garrett Cole early on. And today, I believe he had another one, an opposite home run today again. A, congr a big congratulation to him to get him called up for sure. And right here, we are playing against Tampa Bay Rays in this three-game series. And right here, Tyler Glass now, unfortunately, of course, in real life, he is in the IL, of course, recovering from a Tommy John surgery. But in this game, doesn't quite reflect his, uh, you know, his ability in real life because he gave up two home runs right here. So uh, a solo home run for uh, for for Devers earlier on, and no doubt solo home run. And later on, Sandra Bogarts with a two-run home run right over the wall, and we have taken a three-nothing lead in this top of ten, uh, top of the first inning again. Very impressive. And later on, one-two count to Michael Conforto. He chases that one for a third strike. A slider at the bottom of the zone. A very good. I would say very good redemption for uh, for Glass now after a horrible display. And Nathan Valdi on the other side will be making his 19th start of the season, looking for his 12th win of the season right here. Looking very likely, to be honest. Uh, the fact uh, the fact that we are three nothing up and Wando Franco looks at that one for the third strike and the one count to Brandon Lowe pops this one uh, at the second base area, but Sander Bogart is right there to make the catch and one two three inning for Nathan Valdi. Oh one count to Sander Bogart. He taps that one a chopper to the second baseman right there for the third. Unfortunately, couldn't play any run in right there. Oh three two count to G Man Choi. Looks at that one. He knows that he should have swung at that one. That was a very Good pitch, by the way. A fastball pretty much right down the middle. 3 2 count right there. Mike Susino, it's down on strikes. And uh, to end the inning, and Michael Gifford unfortunately hits. Uh, Colt spell continues. That will be a second K for today. And 1 0 count to Alex Verdugo. He grounds it right back to Wanda Franco, but again, Good, uh, you know, good defensive play right there. Uh, a 6-4-3 double play to any inning. 0-2 count to Lane Thomas. He swung it out one, and that would be the 5th K, I believe, for Nathan Valdi. And 0-2 count to Wanda Franco. He chases that one. He split it at the bottom of the zone again. Very, very dominant uh, first four innings. First three innings for Nathan Valdi. And Harris, here comes Harrison Bader. One, two, three inning for Tyler Glass now. And we're moving on to the bottom of the fourth right here. 0 2 counted Brandon Lowe. He went down. Uh, he went down like that for the second time today with the fast by the top of the zone. Pretty much a very good pitch once again. And 1 2 count to Austin Meadows. A curveball at the bottom of the zone for the second now. That would be the eighth K or six or seven K. For Nathan Navaldi, so far he has a very high strikeout uh, strikeout count, and right there, G Man Choi grounds this one to Sandra Bogarts for a one, two, three inning. And Drew Rasmussen is going to come on for Tyler Glass now for his 20th appearance of the season. An 0-0 count right here to um, to Trevor Story. He hits a high fly ball to left field, and the left fielder is right there to make the play. For a third out, an 0-2 count to Mike Susino, striking out for the second time. A splitter at the bottom of the zone right there for the first out, an 0-0 count to Lane Thomas. And he hits a home run to left field over the wall right there, despite, despite... Nathan Valdi was having such a phenomenal game through five innings. Have yet to allow a single uh, single run, unfortunately. Lane Thomas just uh, Thomas just destroyed that one. Then later on, unfortunately, Randy Rosen Reina hits a solo home run, and just like that, despite Nathan Valdi has been phenomenal, but that two home runs definitely kills his mood right there. Three two count to Brendan Lowe. He went down on strike for the second time today. 2-2 two, two two, two count to Tristan Cassis. He hits a fly ball, a line drive to right center field for a gapper, a RBI double, a two-run RBI double, and just like that, we are 
back in the game. A 5-3 lead right there to run RBI double for Trishan Casas. Again, welcome back for him once again. An 0-0 count right here to JD Martinez. Fastball at the top of the zone. He got that one just right. A no doubt home run to left field. A three run home run. And just like that, in this inning, we score five runs in total. Two from Casas and of course three from JD Martinez. And just like that, we pretty much are on our way trying to seal the win right here trying to win game one of this three game series but jd martinez once again a beautiful swing makes a difference right there 409 feet right there matt strong will be coming on to replace matt strong at the bottom of the six right here with his 33rd appearance of the season with an era a three actually 0 0.3 right here one two count and here comes alex Fidugo, and unfortunately couldn't really make uh, catch unfortunately but later on Samua will be coming on trying not to uh, put too much pressure on Matt Strom instead calling upon the Japanese Samurai right here 0-2 count to Mike Susino he swung it out for the third time today third K for him unfortunately and Samua first K for him after receiving the ball in 0-0 count to Yeni Diaz he hits a soft tapper to Devers again a very good play in the end and leave the leave the men stranded right there. Two two count to Trevor Story. Honestly, should have done so much better with that pitch. A fastball pretty much right down the middle for the first out. And set two two count to Alex Fedugo. Pop this one right behind uh, right behind Juan DeFranco, and he is right there to make the catch. And we're moving on to the bottom of the seventh. Oh two count. Juan DeFranco went down for the second time today. It doesn't happen to him a lot because he is a very good contact hitter. But today, uh, well, we just we're just much uh, but much better in terms of batting today. And Tristan Cass is looking for a second hit today. Unfortunately, he swung it out when the sinker at the outside of the zone for the second out at the top of the eighth. And one two count to Harrison Bader chases this one to a tapper to second baseman for the third out. Moving on to the bottom of the eighth, Josh Taylor will be coming on to make his twenty fifth appearance of the season with an ERA zero point three eight oh two count to Brendan Lowe went down on strike. Once again, a slider outside of the zone and no one count to G Men Choi. And he uh, hits a ground ball, soft ground ball to Cassis, and he is right there to make the play himself for an unassisted out. And Nick Anderson will be coming on for the last inning to make his eighth appearance of the season with an ERA 4.5 uh, count bases loaded with Alex Fedugo, and he popped this one again. Not a very good pitch to hit, to be honest. 0 count should probably wait. A pitch or two and said he just swung it out one for the third out and Garrett Whitlock will be coming on to close down a five run lead right here to seal the first win of this four three game series. Uh, he is making his 35th appearance of the season with an ERA 2.4 oh one count to Yandy Diaz and he is going to hit a soft line drive to cast it and just like that we have won this game. We have won this opener of this three game series against Tampa Bay Rays. Again, a very good game overall. Uh, two, actually three home runs in total, but gotta give a lot of credits to the pitching staff. Apparently we strike out a lot of batters. I kind of lose count in general. I think we strike more than 11 or 12 players in general. A very good game overall, but right there, 8-3 uh, was the final score. JD Martinez, no doubt the player of the game. Three for five with a home run, three RBI. Nathan Valdi, could have been the uh, play of the game if he didn't uh, allow that two home run, but still a very good pitching line. Uh, he pitched five innings, allowing uh, five hits, three earned runs, and striking out 10. True Rasmussen will be taking the loss right there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.